After completing this module, you will have a better understanding of the importance of medical terminology as it relates to medical coding and billing. You will view examples of medical terms as well as what those terms look like in the ICD-10 Alphabetic Index. Before you begin this module, complete your weekly reading assignment and view the presentation materials. Let's take a look at a few examples of medical terminology of the diagnosis and what it looks like in the ICD-10 Alphabetic Index. The first example diagnosis is hydronephrosis. The medical term is broken down into parts to help explain what the condition is. Hydro is water, nephro means kidney, and osis is the suffix that means a condition that is usually considered abnormal. When you put them together, you have a full explanation of the diagnosis hydronephrosis, which is a condition with an accumulation of excess urine in the kidneys. Now you can find the medical term in the alphabetic index of the ICD-10 codebook and identify the correct code that will be assigned. This next diagnosis is acute bronchitis and is again broken down into parts to help explain what the condition is. Acuo or acute means sharp, severe, or sudden. Bronco is bronchial tube and the suffix itis means inflammation. When you put them together, you have a full explanation of the diagnosis, which is an inflammation of the bronchi. You can then find the medical term in the alphabetic index of the ICD-10 codebook and identify the correct code that will be assigned. The diagnosis myocarditis is broken down into parts to help explain what the condition is. Myo is muscle, cardio means heart, and itis is the suffix that means inflammation. When you put them together, you have a full explanation of the diagnosis as an inflammation of the heart muscle. Now you can find the medical term in the alphabetic index of the ICD-10 codebook and identify the correct code that will be assigned. Now it is time to see how well you understand the topics presented in this module. If you have difficulty answering any of the module knowledge check questions, please review the presentation again or contact your instructor or an academic coach for personal assistance. If you chose alphabetic index, you are correct. If you say inflammation of the brain, you are correct. If you chose true, you are correct. As you progress through your courses, you will begin to develop the skills needed for a successful career in medical billing and medical coding. Understanding the importance of medical terminology as it relates to assigning medical codes for reimbursement is the first step in this learning process.